Well, in short and in large, uh, the commentary here is that Israel can breathe a sigh of relief that uh, President Obama sharpened his message and that now even the prime minister can breathe a sigh of relief, sit back after this more sharpened, more concise, if you will, speech delivered this evening. Uh, but I'm joined here by Dr. Inat Wilf, a uh, member of the Israeli parliament and of the Israel's Foreign Affairs and Defense Committee. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Wilf. Thank you. Dr. Wolf, um, we heard just hours ago that Israel and Washington were at a crisis level. Does this change, this speech now, change the situation in your opinion? I certainly hope, th hope so, and I think it should. Uh, this was an excellent speech that brought us back to basics, emphasizing the strength of the U.S.-Israeli relationship, the fact that it stands on so many important elements of cooperation, of shared value. And it also took the issue that was of main concern to the prime minister, which was the 1967 borders, making it clear that land swaps meant that whatever border is negotiated between the sides is not going to be the same as the lines that existed prior to the Six-Day War in June 1967. Now, on that land swap issue that you mentioned in 1967 borders, the commentary that kept coming up again and again was that that was a crucial issue and that had he just talked about land swap along with 67 borders last week, President Obama, then things would have been better. Well, he did this evening. Mm -hmm. Can you clarify for us what's the difference? Well, he mentioned land swaps last time, but today he was far clearer and he also said that the land swaps have to reflect the changes in the last 44 years, uh, namely the big settlement blocks. Uh, today we have in what used to be a uh, part of Jor under Jordanian rule uh, prior to 1967, we have large settlement blocks where you have hundreds of thousands of Israelis who are living very close to the border. The sense was also that the borders prior to 1967 were very difficult to defend. Uh, Israel was very small under these borders, and Israel wants to make sure, first, that the settlement blocks are secure and that Israel as a whole is secure. And you mentioned security, and security is something that keeps coming up also again and again. And again, President Obama mentioned yes. it now in his speech. It's something that Israel says to have a, any sort of meaningful negotiation with the Palestinians. Security must be addressed. And, and what does that mean when they talk about security? It specifically means, first of all, that a Palestinian state, unlike what happened in Gaza after Israel withdrew, cannot become a basis for attacks, launching rockets against Israel. It also means that as Israel looks to the east, maybe what happens in Iraq, in Iran, it has to make sure that a Palestinian state does not become part of an axis that goes counter to Israel. So it has to be a demilitarized and non-militarized state. And also there has to be Israeli military presence for a long time on the Jordan River in order to protect Israel from the east. Thank you, Dr. Anat Wilf. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Back to the studio. All right. Well,